Hi everyone, my name is Carol Nyazika. So this is the first episode of our Beauty Basics series. We'll be going from the first step, which is washing your face, um, all the way to moisturizing. And we'll be diving into those different steps in detail. So today we're going to start off with facial cleansers. What are they? What do they do? Types of cleansers and so forth. So the reason why you want to wash your face proper, properly and use the correct facial cleanser is because during the day we are exposed to so many things um, in our environment. So this includes dirt and dust, um, dirty hands, bacteria, and all of those things that can be harmful to our skin, which can, close, which can cause inflammation, um, acne, and so forth. The great thing about facial cleansers is that it helps make sure that when you put your next um, products, you're applying them on clean skin, which will help your skin absorb those products to make sure that they work and you get the results that you're looking for. So before we dive into the different types of cleansers, first of all, I want to give you a few tips. Tip number one is make sure that you're using a cleanser that works for your skin type. Tip number two is that you need to make sure that when you are washing your face, you apply the 60 minute rule, which just basically means that wash your face for at least a minute before you rinse your face. You will see that the product will actually work better um, and your skin will be more renewed after you wash your face because a lot of the time people want to wash their face um, in like 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds and you rinse off. You haven't given your, your skincare product enough time to actually work and to remove all the dirt from your skin. So make sure that you either count <laughs> for 60 seconds or you put a minute on your phone um, and cleanse your skin properly. When you go for a facial at a spa, they apply this rule so you might as well do it at home because it is very beneficial for your skin. Tip number two is make sure you don't leave your hairline. A lot of the time people wash their face just over here in this area and you forget your hairline you apply so many products um, on your hair especially like um, edge control and so forth so make sure you also go in on your hairline and you and you remove all of that product my last tip is that although you've cleansed your skin for at least a minute make sure you rinse your cleanser properly i tend to um rinse off my cleanser and then rinse it off again just to make sure that nothing is left over so that is my last tip and let's dive into all of the skincare cleansers that you can come across the first cleanser that i wanted to talk about is a cleansing oil i have a previous video when i've done the two-step cleansing method most of the time people start their cleansing process by just applying um, a facial wash. As for me, I would suggest that you start with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. The difference between the two is that a cleansing oil is in liquid form and a cleansing balm is more of a solid oil. Okay, so cleansing balms are similar to um, cleansing oils that we've already mentioned, but cleansing balms are a bit more heavy duty um, than cleansing oils. They come in a solid form and instead of pumping it like you do a, clean, a liquid cleansing oil, you have to scoop it out of the container. For me, the disadvantage of a cleansing balm is that if your hands are not clean, you're actually introducing um, bacteria into the container, into the jar, if you haven't washed your hands um, or if you don't have a scoop for the cleansing balm. So you're just reintroducing bacteria into the product. So I would suggest that you have a scoop for it um, or make sure that your hands are clean. You just need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. It still contains the same botanical oils and antioxidants as a liquid form um, cleansing oil. So it's the same thing, but in different forms. As you already know that oil attracts oil. So when you just, so when you just use a facial wash, which is water-based, it's not really going to attract the oil and do a good job of actually cleansing the oil that's on your skin. And a lot of the products these days, especially your makeup products, um, they are waterproof. So you're not really cleansing your skin properly because you're leaving behind um, a lot of the oil in the product on your skin. So you then end up breaking up because you haven't really cleaned your face properly. So start off with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm as your first step in your skincare routine. If you're more on the dry skin, I would suggest you use a liquid um, cleansing oil. If you're more on the oily side, cleansing balms are good for you, but overall, either one of them, 
cleansing oils are really good for both skin types the next type of facial cleanser is a liquid cleanser you can get gel cleansers you can get milky or cream cleansers and you can also get foam cleansers so there's so many different types of cleansers out there on the market right now so gel cleansers are more stripping so they are designed more for um oily skin types so if you've got oily to combination skin types gel cleansers are typically best for your skin type milky or cream cleansers are great for dry skin because they tend to have botanical oils in them so that just helps with not stripping your face too much but the other positive side is that it doesn't leave your skin dry foam cleansers are also great for oily skin types because they strip a lot of the oil out of your skin so if you feel like you have a lot of sebum produced in your skin it's great for you to use foam cleansers or gel cleansers as already mentioned micellar water is very popular on the market and pretty much it's a simple cleanser but it's not the only thing that you should use on your face um, especially when you want to remove makeup so a lot of people use micellar water as a facial cleanser and then they don't use anything else that doesn't really fully cleanse your skin um, i would personally use micellar water maybe before i use the cleansing balm so it could be the first step so if you have mascara or if you wear heavy makeup i would use micellar water first um, and then a cleansing balm and then a liquid cleanser so um, micellar water is pretty much water with surfactants um, pretty much soapy water that's what it is another popular method of washing your face is using facial wipes i personally don't like facial wipes because there's a lot of things that are added into the facial wipes to keep it wet um, but over the years it's become very popular as a method of washing your face unfortunately people do not then wash their face so they usually just wipe their face with a facial wipe and then that's it really um, but again it doesn't really remove all the dirt that you need removed or it doesn't unclog your pores um, so facial wipes is not popular for me i just like to use a cleansing oil and then straight into a liquid cleanser as part of my routine but again we just need to mention what facial wipes are because a lot of people use them right now and it's a popular product on the market so facial wipes remove dirt on the surface but not in your pores so that's why people end up with makeup on their pillows if they only use wipes to clean if they only use wipes to clean their face facial wipes could be great to use as a starting point um, but you need to remember to be gentle with the facial wipes because a lot of people just rub their skin um, which isn't very good because your skin is very delicate on your face so if you're going to use facial wipes make sure that you are gentle on your skin um, the con about using facial wipes is that it has a lot of preservatives in it which I mentioned before that you know they add a lot of things in it to keep it wet um, so they have a lot of um, preservatives in it and also contains alcohol um, which could be very irritating for a lot of skin types especially if you have sensitive skin these days a lot of the products on the market tend to have um, recommended skin types on the packaging of the wipes another type of cleansing product facial cleansing product is a bar soap um, a lot of people kind of don't like bar soaps anymore um, i know for a fact that here in africa people still gravitate to bar soaps because that's what we grew up on and that's what we're used to nowadays there are a lot more um, natural soaps out there on the market that are created with botanical oils and natural ingredients that are very beneficial for your skin so again it's up to you and your skin type and what you prefer to use either a liquid cleanser or a bar soap so that's the end of the first series on facial cleansers the different types of facial cleansers the benefits of them um, how to use them and which one is more beneficial for which skin type so i hope this video helps make sure that you like and subscribe comment down below and let me know which of these different types of cleansers you prefer or which ones you use um, follow me on instagram and facebook as well as twitter i'll see you guys in the next video bye